I would like to show you how to combine Word and PowerPoint to create some powerful animations. Um, all the links, uh, all the files I'm using, I'm gonna put in a download link so you can try them for yourself. So let's get started. Yeah, I have an example over here, um, which is which is the interior. Uh, well, the sum of the interior angles, and they add up to a semicircle, and um, therefore you have uh, 180 degrees in a, a triangle. It's always nicer to uh, to have the students make that for themselves. Uh, I always gave them a copy of paper uh, so that they were able to rip the angles off and put them together to, to a half a uh, circle or semicircle. But this is uh, always nice to have an animation. Um, so let's get started. Um, how did I do this? I uh, did draw um, these triangles in Word. How how you draw them? I showed that in the uh, in the um, videos before, and I'm just gonna show it for one triangle. So uh, I'm gonna copy this and put this in a new uh, PowerPoint sheet and and talk about some settings. So over here in the view, you also have the grid lines and the settings are over here. Um, I would recommend four grids per centimeter. So it's the same like in Word. Um, it's a little bit odd that you have, uh, have a square of always two centimeters. So that's a a little bit unusual, but you can also draw all the stuff that you can draw in Word over here. So you can also add the symbols for rectangle and so on. Um, so let's get started. At first, I am going to ungroup this thing and um, put uh, put a couple a copy over here, copy over here, a copy over here. And another copy that is going to help me um, to see where this stuff needs to, to land. So this copy I'm going to put over here again. And this is going to go up here again. And this is going to go up here again. So I need the animation tools. Um, first I'm going to show the animation pane and then I am going to animate this one um, by using the lines tool and now I can put this over here. It's supposed to land over here and then the second one I'm going to animate as well. So um, yeah, so I can Use the same tool again, and then, oops, move it over here. And the third one is a little bit tricky. Um, first, I'm gonna rotate it or spin it, and um, then I am going to. <clears throat> talk about the effects so um i want to uh, turn it by 180 degrees now you have to push enter so it will show it over here that works and now i'm gonna add another uh, animation this one and Put it over here, and now this is the tricky part because um, if you play it like this, it might not end up where you want to have it to be. So it should move a little bit downward. You, if you put Alt, uh, you can do it really exact. So without it, always jumps by the grid lines and without it'll be you'll be able to do that exact so I'm gonna play that again
Okay. And the next thing is I'm going to do, um, I'm going to add, start with previous on these. So all, they all start at the same. Oh, play from here on. So yeah, I might add this one a little bit or change it over here. Okay, this kind of looks good. And now I can remove these things. And I try to play it. Yeah, this is always a little bit tricky. Um, um, yeah, find it out for yourself. Have fun. I hope this helps. If you need some support, or you want to suggest some uh, topics for new videos, or you want to exchange some documents, I'd be glad if you join my Discord channel. The uh, link for the uh, channel is in the video description. So I hope to see you there.